Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today will be a very different video for me. I will be um, doing, like using this mask and this is called the Black Mask Deep Cleansing um, by Becklin. And um, I will link where you can get this down below. Um, demo and show you guys how, you know, I believe a lot of people would do. You know, there are directions, the directions are extensive. And I have been using black masks for a really long time. I think, I think my mom introduced me to them since yeah, I was 10 or 12 or something. So I have been using it a lot. So there is a, number one is there's a blackhead dissolving serum. Number two is a blackhead remover mask. And number three, the pore shrinking serum. Um, there is no makeup on my face, nothing like that. My face is clean. It does have moisturizer, so I'm gonna tr I'm gonna open it right now, and uh, we could try this together. Might have to tie my hair, which where's my rubber band? I distinctively brought in a rubber band, a hair tie anyway. Um, so I got this hair tie at uh, Ulta, I think, and it's not very good, and it's kind of an inexpensive size. Um, I don't know if anybody else out there has the same kind of hair as me. I have really thick hair and I go through hair ties really quickly because they just break on me. So these are not so great. I mean, they're pretty and everything, but I don't know. I have a bunch of these have broken on me and I actually had to buy like two more packs because of that. Okay. Plastic is finally off. I even have... My trusty scissor. I love this scissor. Um, again, everything will be linked down below. If you're new to my channel, that's what I usually do. Because every time I do go to like a video. So anyway, um, let's dive in. Uh, and see. So I just opened it. Ooh. There you go. Because it, it does come with the... Dissolving Serum, the Remover Mask, and the Pore Shrinking Serum. So, it comes with this pad. And as you guys have seen, I just opened this. Um, I've never got used this before, so we're gonna... We're gonna journey on this together. And this is, this is great. You know, it's got like one, two, and three, so... It will definitely let you know which step you're supposed to go. I love that. I love that. Not every single um, kit or skincare kit or anything like that does that all the time. There's always like, they just, it will just tell you the name, but it won't really give you like the reminder of the numbers and stuff, you know? So, anyway, sorry about that. I think I'm just going to put my hair up just. Um, cause it's kind of bothering me a little bit. So, um, my hair might be just a tad weird right now. I'm sorry about that. But let's, let's do this. Urgh. Let's power this through. Okay. Uh, it just says what the, um, doesn't really tell you what you're supposed to do. It just says the ingredients, which is great. And it tells you what it's supposed to do. Oh, instructions are right here. Ugh. Okay, so apply warm wet towel and nose for two or three minutes to open pores. Um, I feel like sometimes people do that, sometimes people don't. Just because it's not very convenient to do stuff like that, you know what I mean? Like, we're not in a spa. So I'm going to opt on not doing it. Just FYI. Okay, step two. Wet a thin layer of makeup cotton with a blackhead dissolving serum. Apply on the nose for eight to ten minutes. Oh, schnizzle. Wet a thin layer of makeup cotton with a blackhead dissolving serum. Alrighty. I'm thinking blackhead dissolving serum. Is this it? I think I'm going to get... Um, I'm going to get, uh, okay, so um, this is what I use every day. 
for my toner. Um, sometimes when I'm trying like a makeup remover and it comes in a bottle and not in a wipe, I use this. Don't worry, everything you see is going to be down below except for like, you know, my purses and stuff. But I could, uh, I could always link all that, whatever. All right, so let's do this. Um, anyway, um, if I sound really off, it's because, yeah, it's because, um, I believe I have a head cold for a few days now, so... No makeup. Uh, in the meantime, well, this is really great. It's super tight. I just, oh my god, this thing is like gonna survive an atomic blast or something. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I don't even know how to open it. And my husband's asleep, and there's no one here that can open it. Oh my god. This is only blackhead serum and I'm gonna use a pot holder. Oh my gosh, it's just not opening. This is ridiculous. There it is. Oh my god. Just so you know, I'm out of breath trying to open it. Just so you know that it's, it's not that easy to open. So, I mean, it, it's it's a double-edged sword. It's a good thing because when you get the product, it's definitely not going to be leaking. The bad thing is it's probably going to be a little bit more effort to open it. But that's okay. All right, now I don't even remember what to do. What a thin layer of makeup cotton with the blackhead dissolving serum. Apply in the nose for 8 to 10 minutes. Okay. So I'm just going to... Do this thin layer oh and it doesn't like pop up it didn't really like pour out you know like you know how like sometimes uh, sometimes how certain products can um, just pop out they didn't really do that okay so I'm gonna let this dry and oh my god uh, eight to ten minutes, and um, it's kind of a little cooling, kind of a little cooling, um, no stinging or anything, just cooling, and that's it. Um, the reason I like I did that and kind of exhaled with my upper lip out is because I've been, um, I'm always you know trying. Especially like K-Beauty stuff right now. I'm really hooked on it. I feel like they're the greatest things ever. So I'm testing a lot of different things and I'm not feeling so great right now. And I've noticed lately like because I have been, just been blowing my nose and sneezing a lot and this part kind of got irritated. Um, this part kind of feels like it's burning a lot. When I do, after I wash my face or put like moisturizer and stuff like that, it doesn't last very long, but it lasts for about less than a minute. That's kind of long when it feels like it's really, really hot. Just FYI. So, um, yeah, we still got a few more minutes to go. So I do have like, you know, kind of like a head cold or anything. Um, so I'll see you guys back right when we're ready for the next step. So just to admit, um, I was supposed to use this for, with this, but, um, because there was no label, I wasn't really sure what to do because it says here, um, number three, take off the cotton pad and apply the blackhead remover mask to the nose evenly, apply it a not too thin or too thick layer of black mask okay let's do that <clears throat> so i believe i was supposed to do that mm. okay yeah i was supposed to use this this does come with the box with the set like i show you oh 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 uh oh, that's coming out. I hate it when it does that. But, you know, it happens. Okay, so my hands are clean. I'm just gonna apply it. 
evenly, not too thin, not too thick, whatever that is. Oh, I have a mirror right here. I can do it. I think, I think what it means is that as long as you don't see your skin and it's not caked up, you know, because it's like wasting the product, then I think you're safe. Oh my God, it feels so long ago that I, I was doing this when I was like in high school. I used to do this in high school like all the time. I was like addicted to it. And then of course I had to stop because it was ridiculous. And then you go to college and life isn't really as easy as high school, you know? Okay, it's kind of uneven on this side. Okay. Um, yeah. I feel like, I feel like if I keep adding on to it, it will just, um, oh, it's starting to dry quick. So make sure you do apply it really quickly because it dries up pretty quick. Okay. So this is number two and it's really cooling. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to clean off my finger with a mask. I'm just using like the one I use for step one. You know, I don't want to be wasteful and as much as possible I do my part for the environment and all that. So as much as possible, um, I encourage everybody because I do that with my household. Um, I teach my son with that all the time. So, um, you know, we try and do that a lot to be a lot more conservative in usage of anything and everything, as well as um, try to be as zero waste as possible. It's, it's really, really hard because trying to be zero waste sometimes can be a lot more on the expensive side. And, um, you know, you kind of battle with that, but, you know, we do what we can as much as we can. I, I believe we're a no waste about, not 100%, but we're probably no waste about 90%. Um, so as much as possible, we've even, we have even tried, um, we've started actually, like, when did we kind of start? Last year or a little before that? We kind of started, which I've never really done before because I always thought it was kind of weird and I never really grew up like that, um, to upcycle, recycle and stuff like that. So we go to a lot of like, um, garage sales. I've never been to a flea market before. I just, the, just the term flea market is just not very appealing to me, but the garage sales in our area is really wonderful. Like, um, I always thought garage sales was just everything that's for sale is garbage. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm just going to buy something that I got to throw out, but no, actually. And I'm really enjoying it because not every garage sale you go to actually will have something for you. And then, um, you know, after like five or whatever, you'll find that, oh my gosh, they're getting rid of it because probably by space, who knows? And it's still like really great. Um, and I love that. So yeah, I'm starting to really like that. My husband really used to, well, still does really loved, loved going to garage sales. And he said he started going to it because, well, my husband really loved like tchotchkes and stuff. But you, when you go to stuff like that and you love tchotchkes, you feel find things that you're never going to find in like regular stores because a lot of those things are kind of old and they've been on display for like two decades or whatever. So you're never, you know, it's really rare for you to find that. And all these people either are having like an estate sale or um, a moving sale or they just want to clear out the garage or their basement and stuff like that. Or children have grown up it's always like a lot of kids clothes and a lot of kids stuff because now that i'm a mom now i've noticed that um kids grow really really quickly so you can't really keep that much because 
you're gonna need more room for every time that you're gonna get stuff for them because they they keep growing. So that's what I've kind of noticed and I don't know, it's just been, it's just been really kind of um, interesting and as much as possible, like we just try to upcycle everything. So going to garage sales, I feel like you are kind of recycling someone else's previous items that they really have no need for and you're you're putting that in your life and making it be useful in your life and to me I feel like that is helping um the zero waste closer to zero waste or 100% zero waste lifestyle we are not really 100% we're about I would say really 90 um and it's just because of you know like to be quite honest, um, I feel like zero waste is incredibly very, very courageous and expensive at certain points. So that's why we can't really do a full 100%. But as much as possible, like we compost, we recycle. Um, as much as possible, if I can find like the plastic containers, I reuse those. Um, like the milk jugs and stuff. Like that's usually our number one, our number one thing. The juice jugs. My husband brings that to work as his water jug, so that is always being used. Um, the milk jugs that I've that we've been buying, and also my detergent jugs because they're really big. I use that to um, pre-mix fertilizer that doesn't go bad, or just water and certain stuff for my plants, which I will do with, like other plant videos about that and. Um, so that's just what I do and I label them obviously because different plants have different requirements so it's really prepared and it also ensures that the water is room temperature, it's not too hot, it's not too cold and because we have reverse osmosis we have a limit on how much water we can use um, because of our tank. I, we have a huge tank. I gotta say that. We have a huge tank, but I also have a lot of plants. I know I don't have plants here, and I, and I, and I have been thinking how to do that, how to incorporate plants here, because I do want to have, like, a crazy, I mean, downstairs, um, in my living room, there is, like, a ton of plants, but, um, you know, that's where, that's where the, that's, the common floor in which everybody usually just hangs out. This is more quieter up here because nobody's really here a lot except to sleep and bathe and stuff like that. And downstairs is usually, well, I think that's normal. You know, um, I think that's very average for families to hang out in a specific floor or a specific area or room or rooms, which would be like the living room, dining, kitchen and stuff like that. But I think that is the most common areas in the home. And that's where we really, um, you know, interact the most and hang out the most. So that's why there's the plants there. Cause then, you know, you have like enjoyment of your plants surrounding you, but Plants can be really pricey depending on what you like. So I am slowly trying to get it. And um, they're, you know, I have like a lemon tree now. I have like a uh, fiddly fig tree. All my plants I'm really, really loving. And as much as possible, a few of them have passed on. Um, but it doesn't really... I don't know, it does encourage me to just try again on the same plants, but actually, you know, learn from my mistakes. So that's why I really, really do love plants because, um, you know, you, you, it gives you, it teaches you patience, it cleans your air, it makes, it just, it makes me happier in a sense. And my dogs love it, especially Griffin, the bigger one. He will sit on the chase, which is sort of like when you look, when you're just sitting there, then sometimes my son and I would just sit there. It is just a wall of plants, like three layers of plants. And then on this side, there's also um, plants. And I just actually erected a floor lamp, which I will probably do a review on it because I am in love with it. Um, and that will just help with extra light for my plants for like gloomy days and stuff. Um, so anyway, I was supposed to, oh, it's a little bit 
it's still tacky. It's a good thing it didn't come off. Um, it's still a long ways to go. So I will see you guys. I mean, I will see you guys back. And uh, when I do that, it will be ready to like, like take it off. So I'll be right back in like a few minutes to check in with you. But I did forget to mention that um, all the ingredients of this items are safe. Um, I'm just reading off of here. It um, it's natural, gentle, and safe ingredients. Um, and it is correct. It does say here that the mask should dry quickly, which I you know when I was putting that on, it was drying rather quickly. Um, and it has no smell. I didn't notice any kind of smell. If there is, it's not really pungent. It has a little bit of smell. It, it, there's, there's like no zero smell. Like everything always has a smell to it. Um, it's just not offensive or pungent or really strong or, um, something that I'd be like, oh my God, gross. And I do have a head cold and, um, I did take something already. So I'm a little bit like I can't breathe through my nose, <laughs> but, um, I, I, you know, I'm not like my, like, I'm not stuffed right now, so I could definitely smell everything that comes in contact around here. It doesn't smell bad. Um, it doesn't have, like, it has, like, a very faint, pleasant kind of um, fresh kind of smell, essentially. Um, not really herby. More like, you know, like, uh, I, and, and not everybody has ever been to a spa. So it, it just reminds me of like a, a spa, like a like a mid grade kind of spa, not not a luxurious, not like a bottom spa, but like a middle, where you know it smells great and clean, but it's not really like the like the smell. It doesn't feel like it's floating around you, but you can smell a little bit of something, and it's really good, but it's just not overpowering. If that makes any sense, okay. Um, yes, it dries really quickly, it said. Um, let's see. It's supposed to remove greater blackheads. I don't know what greater is supposed to mean. Um, probably large. And make your skin softer, healthier, cleaner, brighter, more radiant skin. Yeah, I don't know about that, but, um, we'll see. Because this is the first time I'm using it with you guys. Oh, it feels really thin. It feels like onion paper. Thin. Yeah, it's super thin. And I believe I am ready to take this off. But I will be prepared for the next step. So when the mask is completely dry, between 15 to 25 minutes, peel the mask off from the bottom to the top. And the blackhead will be pulled out. Wash with clean water. Apply appropriate amount of pore shrinking serum to apply on the skin to shrink the pores. Okay, so I have my handy dandy um, cotton rounds. And I have my pore shrinking serum. Since I am, you know, waiting for it to completely dry. Oh, this isn't so bad when I open it. I, or maybe I'm just, I guess, stronger <laughs> from trying to open the first one. Okay, I'm going to open this now. I try and yank it. Oh, dear God, it's not coming off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, it is coming off. I just had like a little panic there. <laughs> a little panic. So, um, I don't know if it's the appropriate time to talk about it, but... Ever since being a mom and like, uh, you know, your hormones are all going crazy and stuff like that. I now do suffer and also um, my multiple head traumas that I have incurred in the year 2019. Multiple, like a lot. And so, oh my gosh. I, when I'm looking in a mirror, I'm like, oh, can you see my, my upper lip? Doesn't it look like funny and cute? Like, uh, what is that? Like, it reminds me of like a squirrel look. What? Or, or, or. 
Anyway, let's go back to the task. Oh, wow. This thing is strong. Okay. Let's check it out. Wow. Oh, my God. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, my God. Look at that. Am I the only one that loves looking at these kind of things? Like, it's gross, and it's interesting, and it's awesome. It's all at the same time. Please tell me I'm not the only one that loves looking at these. My husband, like, is always grossed out. Oh, my God. Did you see that? Those are... Because I don't really have blackheads, I think. Um, I have whiteheads. Which they say it's better than having blackheads, but oh my god, this thing is amazing. Okay, I'm going to do the serum right away. I feel like that is very important because it helps shrink your pores. And I did skip a step with... um white uh washing it i just kind of feel like the serum whatever it is would be taken off um the mask would be taken off sorry from the cotton swab anyway and i just i don't want to waste it because it's such an amazing product i'm very impressed and i'm so happy that um i was able to get this try it out and all that stuff and this is this was sent over to me and I've I've thoroughly enjoyed sharing my experience with you guys. That was really amazing. Um so there you go. Oh, am I doing it? Oh, there you go. Cuz it says step 2 in the back too. Like it uh, so I was kind of worried that I wasn't doing it right. So anyway, oh my god, this thing is amazing. I completely recommend 100% and let's take a look at that again. Oh my God, look at that. Look at how much was taken off. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. That's amazing. That's impressive to get everything, right? So... Um, I just put the serum, the shrinking serum on, and, um, oh my god, some of the cotton went, like, almost, like, you know, the opening of my nose, like, almost in, but I managed to, I managed to catch it before it went in. Okay, so, completely, completely love this. Wow, they've, you know... Improvement, time, technology, truly. I mean, I remember before how, like, there's, you know, the pore strips, the nose pore strips, like, you just can't, you, you get it moist on your, on your face, you slap it on, and you wait until it really hardens, and then you rip it off. Um, but this, really, with the kit, that, you know, it helps kind of, and I didn't even have to use, like, a warm towel. I probably would suggest you try it with or without and see. Um, if it works for you without it, then, you know, you probably can if you want to skip a step. I know I did. I just know that a lot of people will probably will skip that step, you know. Um, so I really recommend this. This is awesome. I am so happy that I got this. So, 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 so happy. I give this a 5 out of 5 stars, completely in love with it, and I completely recommend it. If you guys have any um, questions, suggestions, anything that I didn't cover really throughout this whole entire experience, let me know down below, and if there are other products that you believe um, would be gr a great fit with me, which if it if it can be incorporated in my life, it it's a perfect fit for me, truly, because I love testing products. I love sharing my experience and I just love trying to help people. So, um, yeah, let me know and I hope you enjoy my video. You're going to give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed and the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. 
Thanks guys so much and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.